Hey, hey, you guys, it is Clary Berry, and I'm here today to bring to you the Leo horoscope for the, uh, next week, the 4th through the 10th. So we are going to jump right in here. Um, glad you guys are here. We have our stellium, um, Mars, Mercury, and the sun. Mercury retrograde, by the way, here. Um, Got to mention that. Eve we have stellium in the third house here for Leo. Okay. So there's definite, um, you know, wanting to, it's like the social network coming through supportive people around you, whether it's siblings or just, you know, really close friends, neighbors type of people that get, you know, they get in more, you know, and people in your community and just the interactions with them while you may be buying and selling like these are the things that I think you know that you love I mean you love being social and you love being seen so it's like even there's a really there's something about errands this week are you so busy that you're just doing errands all week <laughs> and it's also this the mindset you know the mind um I mean, in a way we're down to earth, but in a way that energy is, you know, I mean, it's a little bit mental for, you know, for, for what it is. And like I said, when we'll get to the theme, when we talk about the moons later and how it's affecting that, but it's definitely a theme, you know, of this, of this week in particular, you know, again, to be having those interactions just as you're going about your daily life. Those interactions might be significant. They might not be significant, but in a way, they're still very fulfilling, you know, to you. And that's kind of what you want to be doing. You know, you want to be maybe shopping or going out and, and running some errands, taking care of things that need to be done, but also just meeting people and seeing people. It's like the bustle. It's the bustle, the cling clang. So anyway, that's just the energy for the kind of overall and on the fourth looking, you know, into you and what's going on with you, you guys love my new cards here. Um, so we have, um, on the fourth, we have the moon in the second house there and, you know, we're really maybe feeling on top of the world here. You know, there's definite change, I think in something about where we've been with this. Okay. Yeah. Well, four of swords here too. Like you create your own reality here. You're, it's your choice, you know, how you want to spend your money, you know, and how you want to surround yourself, what you want to surround yourself with. This is a very almost practical week to look at again, kind of those habits, those habits around buying and selling are you, are you buying the things that are getting you where you want to go or not? Okay. And, and again, are you surrounding yourself with those things that really matter or not? Because there could be a lot of distractions. I mean, there's always a lot of distractions in life. There's demands on our time, this and that. But again, when you, you know, make the choice here to give yourself you know, the best. And sometimes the best doesn't mean the same thing that we thought it meant 20 years ago. You know, the best might mean rest, <laughs> the, the rest, the best, you know, so it might be, you know, this time where we're balancing, we're really balancing kind of that energy of being in the spotlight, um, where we like to be, of course, as Leo, you know, but also, getting that downtime because we might really need it there, you know, and not even just downtime, but the pampering, you know, the pampering, making yourself feel really good and the luxury, you know, type of materialistic things that, you know, you may not always be that into, um, that you might be really more focused on, on this, even the third and the fourth there. Okay. So going in, um, the fifth and the sixth going to be moon going to be in the third house. So this is again, highlight on the social, which is nothing, you know, new at all. Um, for, for Leo, you know, this, there's, there's a real chatter, chatty Cathy energy going on 
for sure this week, um, especially these, these two days here again in the third house, fifth and the sixth, the, cause the thinking, you know, there's, there was, there's a lot of mental stuff going on in general. You know, the thoughts are again, maybe not even racing. Maybe they are racing. Um, and they, they probably are, you know, especially with all of the, again, people and things that you want to stay into and you're very passionate, you know, you're always creating, you're always doing something here. So it's about, you know, it is about the balance, you know, it's always about the balance in Libra season. You can't forget that. Um, so again, it's kind of balancing out the, the need, you know, for that um, different interaction, you know, all of the different people that you want to talk to in a day, you know, again, with kind of this rest and relaxation and really just focusing on, you know, just even just practical things that you may not really want to do. Cause again, it's like errands again, the short trips are, are here. It's like, we just want to buzz around town. You know, it's like, you just don't want to come home, but you, you know, the more you kind of put into the home at this point, then, and that's kind of what the fourth or the eighth and the ninth is about when we get into the, you know, you kind of come back to that, um, stable and it is kind of a theme for the week as well. So we did already have that card out, um, for the four there of swords, but you know, there's definite, you know, there might be sorrow here over parents. I'm definitely feeling like some inner healing, you know, needs to happen before you can really achieve what you want. You know, I mean, you've always got really lofty goals here and wanting to do big, big, big things. And I think the things that it's like, maybe we're sleeping on the things that we want to do or that we, you know, that we really want to do because we're still, there's a working out some kinks. Okay. Going within here is going to help shadow work. Definitely, definitely going to help check out the playlist that I have shadow work playlist, got inner child healing playlist. I got holistic law of attraction playlist. It's all there. And it's a lot, it's a lot of information. It's a lot of personal, you know, experience. So yeah, it is what it is. But so yeah, the, it kind of comes back down, you know, and, and it was what it was needed, I think to kind of, you know, kind of come back down and come back down to the base, back to basics, you know, the roots, the home, the family. And that's kind of where your heart's going to be again on the seventh and the eighth might, might be wanting to be, you know, a little bit closer to home on those days rather than the fifth and the sixth. Okay. But I feel like, I feel like, um, Saturday and Sunday, thankfully we've got some flirty, good energy here. Some RC, this is total date night energy. So even if you don't have a handsome date here, you know, take yourself out on a date. You don't, you know, this is again, we really want to focus on long-term energy. The big changes that are happening in the world right now, these take a lot of concentration, takes a lot of effort to really thrive through a lot of the, these types of things. So you want to really be again, like extra good, extra rested, extra good, um, on your game here, you know, and take that time when you're rested, you're going to make better decisions. The rest is really coming through. I think that's the source of some of your problems. You know, the lion roars if it's not rested, right? <laughs> and we don't want, you know, these things to happen in the, sometimes it's just the tongue can lash out or, you know, you just, you just lash out and, doing the inner healing work will, will actually help with that. You know, it might not eliminate it all super quickly because, you know, these, the, it takes us a long time to get into these patterns in life. It's going to take us some time to get out of it. But, you know, once you start, it's definitely, you, you start to have less and less things, you know, until you really can, really can change your life here. Okay. So, you know, again, watch out because, you know, date night might get, you know, there might be <laughs> watch out on the ninth and the 10th guys. Um, you know, there's some flirt again, some flirtatious, some fun energy, but we also might, you know, there might be, you know, some danger there. So maybe you stay a little bit closer to home since we had our, <laughs> even though we just got out of this more home feeling, um, on the seventh and the eighth, but 
there's going to be some changes and this somewhat just goes with changes in the outside world as well because I really think there's going to be a lot going on this week um and you know kind of feeling the reverberations of that and just like processing everything um along with everything like you know and it's there's a lot about control here you know it's like accepting even if something happens you know and and really when something happens that's not what you wanted whether it's from yourself or the outside world something's frustrating you you know what I mean you I think you're getting you know you're getting much better here you've gained a lot of peace and a lot of clarity and I think you can really kind of zone into that and it's just like a message to like sink deeper into it and again keep on with the shadow work it's going to help with the tower moments and it'll you know it'll help you stay grounded which you know again we might kind of kind of need it's staying grounded staying calm cool and collected being the boss applesauce of yourself you know the best mastery of of the world is not conquering others you know it's it's conquering yourself and figuring your own self out so that is you know overall we might be feeling you know like we want to be you know just enjoying ourselves um on the 9th and 10th and you know something may possibly happen you know to to but it's all going to be the way that it's supposed to go and it's you know we're learning and the more you can learn here comes back to it's going to help you and your purpose with whatever you're really trying to do out in the community so again the better you take care of yourself here the better you get the rest the better you're going to be able to propel the causes and get deeper into i think it's really about getting deeper into and it is kind of about taking some of that energy that you really want you know focused on you sometimes and really just putting it really full force and you can do that once you do a little bit of the work and you can clear out some of the little bit of ego that you might want to be working on just a little bit i mean we all want to work on it we all want to work on our ego that's just smart you know and the first thing you just do is recognize it it's kind of like hey oh there's my ego again and that's exactly you don't get mad at it you're just like hey it's there oh hey look at that how cute and throw it away you know but i mean it's not going to go away it's part of us in our human condition here but once you recognize it you're like hey little fella that's so cute why you you know whatever you don't even have to say anything after that you're just like you recognize it and it helps you to be empowered and to not let it overtake you and that's all you need you know it's to not be ruled by the ego so yeah i hope this was good for you let me know down below i hope you guys are doing well take care much love many blessings thanks so much i'll talk to you soon bye